Hello students, in this lecture we studied about the history of English novel. Last year uh, in 11th standard we studied history of drama. In this academic year, this is new syllabus. So, in this year we have to study about English novel. So, let us see the history of English novel. According to the English novel, it has beginning to the English novels, novels in the 19th century, Victorian novels, realism and nationalism, modern novels, postmodern novels. The beginning of the novels uh, which occupied by the ancestors of the novel which Elizabethan prose fiction and French heroic romances which were long narrative about contemporary characters who behaved nobly. The novel came into popular awareness towards the end of the 17th century. Due to the growing middle class with more leisure time to read and money, to buy books, public interest in the human characters lead to the popularity of autobiographies, biographies, journals, diaries and memories. According to the history, the 18th century has gifted English literature to entirely new form which, which are without any traces in the ancient classical heritage. One of those was the periodical essay and the other was novel. Both of these form, especially novel, caught the spirit of the 18th century as the age of the intellectual, sentimental and realistic plan and tried to instruct the readers which would help them to a more purposeful and virtuous life. Since the time of its origin, novel has been gaining popularity and growing gradually. Today it is recognized as the most dominant literary genre. A novel is a relatively long narrative fiction which describes intimate human experiences normally in the prose form. The present English word novel is derived from the Italian word novelia. It meaning new. A novel narrates a story embellishing it with more details of time, place, nature, people and their minds. Their gestures and activities, it creates the picture of the society of that time. Novel makes life easier to understand than in drama and poetry. In modern era, Novel has adopted literary prose. The novel as a literary genre has a history of about 2000 years. Among the early precursors of novel, a collection of tales known as Greek romances dating from the 2nd to 6th century may top the list. These imaginative and delightful stories of idle love and marvelous adventures profoundly affected the creative writing for the next thousand years. Though novel in the modern era usually makes use of a literary prose than earlier threads of the genre can be found in Virgil's Ecologus or Mallory, Morte the author or Geoffrey Chaucer's The Canterbury Tales. These are the notable novels in English literature at the beginning of English era. Moroske Ske Shekibi, Tale of Genji, in 10th century, has been described as the world's first novel. The European novel is often said to begin with Don Quixote by Spanish writer Miguel de Conventes which was published in two parts between 1605 and 1615. In the 18th century, the appearance of newspaper and magazines attracted a large number of readers from the middle class. These new readers had little interest in romances and tragedies, which were appreciated by the upper class. That time the society was divided into three categories such as upper class, lower class and middle class. Thus need for a few type of literature 
arose that would express the new ideas of the 18th century. The 18th century new literature was uh, characterized by the spirit of realism and denial of romantic features like enthusiasm, passion and imagination. The foreground for the novel was prepared by all these factors after 1740. Novel originated as the literary form in England, increase in trade and commerce, along with the industrial revolution had given rise to the middle class. A class of people had emerged to occupy an elite status. The realistic picture of everyday life and problems of common people depicted in the novels appealed to the newly edu educated class was regarded by them as a respectable reading material. Now let us see the what is novel. According to the writer E. M. Foster in, uh, in his book Aspects of the Novel cites the definition and the Frenchman named Abel Chevely, a fiction in prose for a certain extent and adds that he defined extent as over 15,000 words. A word novel which was not even used until the end of the 18th century is an English translation of the Italian word novelia, used to describe a short, compact, broadly realistic tale popular during the medieval period, for example, the Decameron. The novel deals with a human characters in a social situation, man as a social being. The novel places more emphasis on characters, especially one well-round character than a plot character. There are two types of the characters such as a, a flat character and round character. Another initial major characteristics of the novel is realism full and authentic report of human life. The traditional novel has a unified and pleasurable plot structure, sharply individualized and believable characters, a perceived illusion of reality. Thus, a novel as a form of appears to have been designed for both to voice the aspirations of the middle and lower classes and meet their longing, the spirit of machines could provide a time to the educated middle class for reading and discussion about the books. Drama and poetry were the two literary forms that were fading away. Novel was a combination of some features of them, means poetry and drama, and some new features were added to the form. It was the prominent form in the 18th century and onwards to encompass the social, political, and cultural happening and scientific progress. The Pilgrim's Progress by John Bennion. 1678 and Oronoku by Afria Ban 1688 initiated the plenteous and colorful tradition of English novel and was followed by Daniel Diff, Robinson Crusoe, Mark Flanders, and Jonathan Swift's Gulliver's Travel, a famous satire. Other major novelists of 18th century are Samuel Richardson's Pamela or Virtue Rewarded and Clarissa, both epistolary novels. Henry Fielding, Lawrence Strand, and Tobias Smollett. The tradition was enriched by many other stalwart novelists such as Charles Dickens, Walter Scott. Nathaniel Hawthorne, Horak Walpole, Thomas Hardy, Willie Collins, and H. G. Wells. In the 20th century, is marked by the modern topics and 
innovative styles and techniques and widened angles of the views by the novelist like E. M. Foster, James Joyce, Joseph Conrad, Henry James, George Orwell, Graham Greene, D. H. Lawrence, William Golding, and Anthony Burgess. These were the popular novels in the 20th century. They widened the circumference on the of the genre by writing political, social, psychological, and other modern issues in their novels. There are immigrant authors like Salman Rushdie, became from India, V. S. Naipaul, Trinidad, Kazuo Ishiguro, Japan, and many others. The contribution of women novelist means female uh, novelist to the great pigeon cannot be neglected. The novel of manners Evelina by Francis Burney, Gothic novels by Anne Redcliffe, a novel based on science of the age, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, are. Landmark novels, Jane Austen has been ruling over the minds of the people through her novel. Bronte's sister Emily and Charlotte have created their own place by their incomparable works. The Wuthering Heights and Jane Eyre, Mary Annie Evans, Alice George Elliot wrote the novels. Reflecting psychological insight, Virginia Woolf is the pioneer of the stream of consciousness techniques in English novel. Agatha Christie created her own place by writing many novels based on crime. Hercule Poirot and Miss Marple are the evergreen detectives created by her. Harper Lee, Margaret Atwood, Toni Morrison, and Alice Walker have evel elevated the tradition further to prosperity. From the Indian scenario, Rajmohan's Wife by Brankin Chandra Chattopadhyay, uh, serialized in the Indian field, was the first novel in English. Written by an Indian. The period after that is marked by a few more novels written by the Indian writers. These novels bore either nationalistic verses or social issues as their main framework. Mulkraj Anand, R. K. Narayan, and Raja Rao were the major trio who prevailed in the period after that. Novelists like Anita Desai, Nar Nayantara Segal, and Arun Joshi and Manohar Malgaukar changed the current of Indian English novel through their works. Amitav Ghosh, Vikram Seth, and Upamanya Chatterjee ameliorated the Indian novel in English by adding new features to it. Recent years have witnessed the dazzling performance by the Indian novelists like Salman Rushdie, Arvin Agida, Arundhati Roy, Kiran Desai, Kiran Nagarkar, the tradition of the Indian novelist.